Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we have another water comparison video. First up, we have Fox Ledge Spring Water. This is sold at Whole Foods, and this is a half liter bottle. Next up is Clover Valley Purified Drinking Water. This is about 300 milliliters. This is another Niagara bottle of water. The company Niagara Bottled Water Company, they sell tons and tons of different um, brands. They just put a different label on it. I've reviewed tons of Niagara bottles of water in the past. And this uses reverse osmosis to filter this water. And it has calcium chloride, sodium bicarbonate, and this is bottled in Hamburg, Pennsylvania. Fox Ledge is bottled in Pleasant Mount, PA. So these are both from Pennsylvania. That's the state I'm in. I'm, I think Niagara bottles in many locations around the country, maybe around the world. I happen to have the one from Pennsylvania because I'm in Pennsylvania. Uh, this is sold at Whole Foods. This is kind of a um, more expensive of a bottle. Like they, they sell this individually, not in a huge case. This is sold in a case of water. This is sold just by one bottle at a time from Whole Foods. An interesting thing about this bottle is it was not in the bottled water aisle. At Whole Foods, they have this one aisle where they have a ton of different brands of bottled water, like high-end brands. For some reason, this bottle was like near the juice. Maybe it's just um, at my local Whole Foods they were doing that differently. I don't know why, but that's just that was kind of weird to me. It stuck out to me. And um, so let's open them up and do a comparison. Another neat thing is the label. It's like you know, here's the front, and then the back is the same. You know, normally they show the label on the front and then like info about it on the back. But this is what they normally do. Um, this one, it's just you flip it around and it's the same thing. So that's kind of neat. Fox Ledge has the full size lid. This one has the mini one. Um, Niagara is a lot cheaper, so. They're um, cutting costs with the lid, but this is also better for the environment, I guess. It uses less plastic for the lid. So let's just open them up. I have nothing else to say. Let's open them up and do a taste test. <clears throat> yep. Just really tastes the same as every other, <clears throat> every bo other bottle of Niagara that I've had before. <clears throat> yeah, it tastes like um, like water. <clears throat> this is a company that I think the main thing this company does is they deliver like five, you know, the five gallon huge bottles of water to offices and and homes. I think that's what they're mainly known for. This is like a smaller, much smaller company. I think they said they're just in like Pennsylvania and New Jersey. I think that's what the website said. And they say that they use <clears throat> just spring water. It's They made it very clear on the website that they're not using tap water. Well, one thing I didn't really like about their website... <laughs> I just didn't like the, their website in general for Fox Ledge. Let me go to the FAQ page. On the FAQ page, it says, What is the difference between bottled water and filtered water? And their response is, There are many differences between the two types of water. <laughs> That's not really answering the question. <laughs> um, and it says, how is Fox Ledge helping to reduce waste in the environment? And it says, in the response to that, it says, the bottled water industry is um, very conscious about the environmental impact and um, 
promotes recycling plastic. It's just like it does. It doesn't say what they're doing about it. It just says we like we encourage you to recycle. I don't know. I, I don't know. It just didn't seem like this didn't seem like good answers to me. It's like a small like hint of uh, like a fruit flavor or something. Maybe that's the. Maybe that's why it's in the juice aisle. <laughs> um, <laughs> does, does, it doesn't say anything about juice on the... Oh, wait, wait. No, no. I'm screwing this up. This was in the juice aisle. So, yeah. It's weird. Like, um... It doesn't taste like raspberry juice, but it tastes like somebody dropped two tiny drops of raspberry juice in the bottle. Like, just a tiny, tiny hint. Or maybe blueberry or something like that. Some, some kind of fruit juice. Yeah, they, they made it very clear that they're, they're not using tap water in their website, but it kind of tastes like it. Okay, so I'm going to say that the winner between these two is actually Niagara. This is the cheaper bottle, so it's kind of surprising that this is going to be the winner. Um, I just think it tastes a little better. And that's it. Thanks for watching. This is also a better value, too. You get a whole case of this instead of just one bottle. Well, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.